peace, love, energy, and infinite light to all my beautiful indigenous Niji people of Turtle Island. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing their diligence, their due diligence, and living a beautiful, beautiful lives, you know. Learning something every day, understanding life is more than just paying bills, going to school, working for foreign corporations, making them millions of dollars while you pass down no equity to your bloodline. You know, certain stuff like that. A lot of stuff is just so clear, so in your face, you know. People just lack common sense, you know. If you just look and question everything, it's not hard. It's not hard. It's not hard. Just look and question everything and understand that everything you've been told is to pervert your mind, indoctrinate you, and psychological warfare, reverse psychiatry of everything. So they're not going to tell you the truth. <laughs> Hell no. They're not supposed to. They're not going to. You know? And if they are, they're going to bend it and fabricate it with lies. You know? In order to make themselves look good when they're too caught up in the bullshit, if they can, they are going to try to mix truth with lies to make themselves look right. Because that's what they do. They got to write themselves into her story and create his story. So with that said, you have to seek the truth. You have to actually put in the work and research. It's really not that freaking hard. I'm, I don't. You have to push past your ego. You have to push past this, this inner enemy of yourself of the lies you're comfortable with. You have to push past these wicked pagan holidays that's about paganism, homosexuality, and pedophilia. I don't I don't know how you don't know that these holidays are not what you think they are. They just been sugar coated when they came over here. But you can't let it go. You well, I don't celebrate it because of that. I celebrate it because it brings families in and I can give my family's gifts. And why do you still do it on that day? Why? Why do you still do it on that day? If you don't celebrate that holiday, then do it on, do it on another day. We as indigenous people have our own culture. We have our own celebrations. We've been had them for hundreds of thousands of years and beyond. Our culture is prehistoric, you guys. Our culture is ancient. Don't adopt these new ideologies because they're not going to tell you who you are and what you celebrate in your original cultures. It's up to you to find out your indigenous cultures. It's up to you to find out what days your tribe celebrate a certain ceremonies on. And then there is your original holidays, you know? You don't got to call it holidays, it's celebrations, you know? It's just your indigenous celebration, your cultural celebrations. Have pride in who you are. Have pride in your culture. Have pride in your bloodline. Stop celebrating these foreigners. Stop celebrating these pedophiles, man. You have all the tools you need to find out who you are. You know, I mean, it's, it's obvious to know you didn't come from Africa. You have nobody there right now you can call and be like, how's the weather in Africa? There's no grave sites you can go over there and visit in Africa right now. That's your ancestors. But all of the grave sites and everybody that you can call to see how the weather's going is here and America, you know. Here, we are the Moroccan Indians, eh? The original Niji people of Turtle Island. Here on Turtle Island is where all your ancestors are. Here on Turtle Island is where you came from. Here on Turtle Island is where you've been bred from. Here on Turtle Island is where 
your indigenous roots are. This is where your great, 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 this is where your bloodline lands is here. All that bullshit about all life starting in Africa is bullshit, dude. You know? Religion is a curse. I'm going to keep repeating that. You have to know this. Religion is a curse. Religion is the most disrespectful thing to an American Indian. Religion was created to destroy the culture and the history and the history of the original people around the world, not just the American Indian. Anywhere these colonizers pushed religion and Christianity, they tried to wash away the history of the people of that land and push their ideologies. You don't see that shit yet? You don't, how old are you? How, how like, come on, come on. We, you, you cannot want to be that dumb. A lot of people are going to die dumb. A lot of people are going to croak ignorantly. A lot of people are going to die not knowing nothing. Don't be that old stupid motherfucker. You have children and children's children. You have a bloodline that leads after you, that follows behind you. You must set them up for success. And that failure, and to do that, knowledge is key. Knowledge is above all. You must know that. You must know that they push this money and power and wealth and all this shit and beauty, they push that and make you think that's the most important thing out here, having the most cars, having the most houses, having the highest credit score, having the best bank account. They make you think that's the most important thing. Working for their best company, being their best worker. They want you to think that's the greatest thing, but the greatest thing on this fucking planet is knowledge. If you know better, you do better. If you don't know no better, you won't fucking do better. It's that simple. It's fucking common fucking sense. That's why us, the indigenous people of the land, are sovereign. We govern ourselves. We step in these courtrooms. We don't hire judges. We don't hire attorneys. We don't hire public defenders. We don't hire lawyers. We go in there governing ourselves because we're sovereign. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. If you don't know the law and you're going to get one of these public defenders or these lawyers or attorneys, they're working with the judges under a Masonic agenda, under a Masonic contract. You have to understand that they're working together. So then when you are in the court case, that's conflict of interest right there because the judges and the lawyers know each other. But y'all don't think about that. Y'all don't want to think. Y'all just want these fuckers to think for y'all, lead y'all to death, and yell at your children because they see this shit and they don't want to be part of this shit. But y'all force that shit on them. Every time somebody teach y'all the truth, every time somebody tells y'all the obvious shit when all you have to do is use common sense and think, y'all call that shit a conspiracy. Y'all call them a conspiracy theorist. What the fuck? Did y'all even look up where conspiracy theories came from? The word conspiracy theories? You know, the CIA created that shit. 30s, 60s, they created the shit. And y'all just ignorantly just keep going with it. Just keep on going with it. Keep on riding with it. Religion is the great curse upon you. Any man, listen to me. Listen to me. Any man that is religious is weak. 
and docile and they'll let anybody run them over and tell them what to do. Listen to me. Any man that goes to church faithfully every freaking week, every Sunday, is a weak-minded man. Period. And you will be able to manipulate that motherfucker and tell him anything. Walk all around that mother. That's a Chuck and a Java nigga right there. Any person that's in church, especially the men that's in church, are weak. They're relying on a whole nother motherfucker that they never seen before. Don't even fucking know, but they go there every Sunday and say, I give all my energy, my power to this nigga Jesus. You a grown ass man, bro. You have a family, sadly. And you're telling your children, your daughters, your sons, your wives that everything that you do, every day that you survive, then duck and dodge death and duck and dodge these cricket deities. And you grow to live another day. Every day that your ancestors' blood pumps through your motherfucking veins and you shed tears, blood, sweat, pull muscles, fracture bones, twist ankles to get what you need to get done and do what you need every day. As a grown-ass motherfucking man, you give everything that you ever did on this planet to another motherfucker that you don't even know? Everything that you work hard for, you don't give none of that. None of that glory to yourself. You don't give none of that glory to your ancestors. The ones who brought you here. The ones who made it a living, willing, meaningful right to live and breathe on this beautiful earth. You don't think your ancestors want. You give your shit, your energy, your soul, your murky, but your kundalini, your all that chakra energy to a false deity. Caesar Bulgaria, over there in Palestine, Rome. And y'all don't see this shit. Y'all have no pride in yourselves. So why the fuck should your daughters and your children and your sons and your nieces and nephews respect you? You don't fucking respect yourself. You don't know who you are. Religion was never meant to be pushed on this land. Ever. We were never religious. We already had our culture, ancient culture. Dates back way before religion. Way before that Bible, basic information before they ever heard. Way before that. Way before that Freemasonic, Freemason, occultist. What they call that, man? King James and them? King James and the crew? Ask William Shakespeare to help him rewrite the Bible, edit the Bible, illustrate the Bible. Hey. Y'all go ahead and adopt these foreign ideologies while your ancestors are looking at you. Embarrassed that you still out here calling yourself a color when you have a culture and a whole fucking tribe. You over your head claiming Africa when Turtle Island, you the American people, are the original people of the Americas. But you give up mother because some colonizer came over and told you to. Because some foreigner came over and told you to. That's why you do it. That's why you did it. Break the curse of religion and get back to your spirituality. Get back to the land. Get back to mother. 
Get back to what's real. Get back to what the fuck makes sense. Stop falling for the okie doke. They do the same fucking shit. No matter what, stop getting the juice. Please stop getting the juice. Holy fuck, stop getting the juice. Stop getting the juice. I don't know why y'all think the Tahiti experiment stopped. The Tahiti experiment never stopped. It was the, y'all think the CIA is done experimenting on us? That Britney Grinder dude. Y'all think Russia did an experiment on his ass? Y'all think that was a trade off? I mean, shit, dude. I mean, Brittany Grinder, he about 6'8. Think that motherfucker up there. And he they, he reminds them of the ancient Anunnaki. I mean, not Anunnaki's. I, I'm pretty sure the Anunnaki's are bad. I'm pretty fucking sure they're bad. The Anunnaki's, the Nephilims, you know. I'm pretty sure they're fucking bad. But. Brittany Grinder, that dude reminded them of like Avatar and our ancient Atlanteans. That's where it was the Atlanteans. They remind them of the ancient giants that used to live and walk amongst the land. Seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 foot. Some probably bigger. But I definitely know for a fact, and you all should know for a fact, that there were giants here. If you don't know that, then you're highly misinformed. Highly misinformed. They tried to destroy as much evidence, but the planes passed the um, firmament and passed the ice wall. There's, There's just more out there. There's more out there. They're just never going to tell you. They're not supposed to tell y'all the truth. This is, listen to me. Listen to me, please. Listen to me. They're not supposed to tell y'all the truth, period. They're not supposed to. That's against their fucking agenda. That's against their fucking brainwash. That's against their, if you know the truth, they have no control over you. They have no power. And that's why knowledge of truth is so important. Not just regular knowledge of, other of, of how to like what get good credit. No, actual fucking knowledge that fucking matters. This shit bigger. Like it's it's like it's bigger than us, you guys. That's the first thing game is saying. That's why you gotta know we have to live for each other. We have to help each other. It's bigger than us. Ain't no need to be independent and by ourselves. The only thing that we need to do by ourselves is getting our fucking minds right, getting our focus right, strengthening our spirit, strengthening our souls, getting our fucking shit right, you know, getting our health right, you know, vibing right, eating fruits, vegetables, getting that nice quality H3O in this, properly hydrating with H3O, you know. So break the curse of religion, break the curse of calling yourself a fucking color and understand your culture, you know. Take that shit as an insult when somebody call you, you know, a color. Especially black, you know, they should get a slap in the fuck around because don't violence, you know, to anybody. But you gotta defend yourself on your own land. We have the right, we have the constitutional right to defend ourselves. So anybody want to come over and try to colonize us and colonize our mind and mentally cause us damage and harm to ourselves, we have, by all means, to defend ourselves from this brainwash. You know, we're tired of the lies. We have all right to defend ourselves from these foreigners colonizing our land, even our own folks, all skin folk, ain't kin folk. You know, them Africans don't have the same genome structure as us. We're not the same fucking species of Negroid. Y'all have to understand that. We never came from Africa. They're different, you know? If they get their shit right, get their shit together, we get our shit right, we get our shit together. Later on in the future, probably, you know, a few generations from now, we can help take care of the earth together in harmony. But 
Got to get this currency shit out of the way, get back to trades and bargains, and get back to the land, get back to nature. You know, get back to using proper technology or proper work instead of pollution and genocide and poisoning the air and the water and the people and the foods. So there's no way you cannot see what's really going on out here. There's there's no fucking way. You're not that stupid. I don't believe that you're all that stupid. I know my people, my subscribers, I know they know better. That's why y'all here. That's why we here. That's why I got y'all. You know, that's why I got y'all, because we know what's going on out here. We know what's going on out here. And there's a lot of y'all that's so smart. So smart. I think, like, there's no one smarter than you guys. My subscribers, there's no one smarter than you guys. The shit y'all say, the, you know, the comments y'all leave, y'all know what the fuck going on. Y'all know y'all hip. Y'all is shop. So keep on dropping them comments. Keep getting people hip. Keep spreading this knowledge, you know. Like, subscribe, share, you know, do all that, man. We got to get this shit out there. We got to get this information out there. You know, the shadow banning my shit, of course. That's why we got to push this information, man. You know, shout out Phoenix Moon. I seen some shit about Dane Calloway fucking up, man. Nah, Dane, you got to stop that shit, bro. You can't fuck with our queens, bro. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Stick to like beefing with niggas, bro. Don't, don't, you can't beef with the Empress, bro. That's, that's sis right there, bro. That's big sis right there. You can't lie, bro. Nah, bro. You fuck with her, you fuck with all of us, bro. You feel me? You can't do that. You gotta relax. You gotta relax, bro. You gotta relax. You know, I'm over here, you know, East Coast, you know, shout out, you know, everybody in DC, everybody in Maryland. Yeah. Man, shout out Virginia too. Shout out Virginia too. My tribe from Virginia, the Pamunkey tribe. Yeah, Pamunkey. I'm Pamunkey, Piscataway, Nanjamoy, Pisgah, Chickamonson, and, Mc- and McCoy, Indian. You know, those are my tribes. Those are my tribes. And the deeper I look, the more I'll find. So, yeah. I'm not a fucking color. I'm not black. I'm not African American. I have tribes. I have cultures. So call me Piscataway Indian or call me Pamunky Indian. Call me Chickamonson Indian. That's what I am. I'm an indigenous Pamunky. I'm an indigenous Chickamonson. That's what I am. I'm not these things that these foreigners call us. We have tribes and we named our land after our tribes. So, know that. So with that said, peace, love, energy, and fucking light, you guys. Have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day, man. Break the curse of religion. Break that, you know. Break that curse, you know. Dane Calloway, stop it. Stop that shit, dude. You know about it. You know goddamn well you was claiming that more shit way before you found out you was Indian, bruh. Stop it. That's all the sister was saying, bruh. That's all she was saying, bruh. You charging people for free information. And then at first you weren't even you weren't even banging with us, whoa. You weren't even banging with us whole time, whoa. You was off that Moorish shit, bro. You signed over to the Moorish nationality card. No, no, bro. You gotta stop it, stop it, bro. What they say? Stop the cat, whoa. You got to, bro. There's no way you can you cannot and you better not be suing her, bro. Cause we can sue you. Oh man, what? Come on, bro. You know we run the courtrooms. How you gonna sue an Indian, bro? When you're in the wrong, bro. You can't do that, bro. You know she has the right to symbol a jury of twenty five, right? And I hope you know that, you know, so because her jury of twenty five, which I will be included in, if it comes to that, shit, me. We know our shit, sir. You know, the United States Corporation is a foreign corporation that holds no jurisdiction of us natural living deities. So if you want to play that game, if you want to play them court games, baby, that's, I love the courts. I love the courts. Undefeated in the courts. I flourish. Check the record, buddy. Check the record, man. Check the record, dude. 
So don't 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 do that. Don't try to don't try to don't try to because you talking about defamation of character. Oh, you sir, the shit you done said. All right, line. I know you like to say you got receipts, buddy, but ha, ah, we got receipts too. We got receipts too, sir. So don't don't mess with the sister, bro. Stop what you're doing, bro. We can't be fighting each other out here, dude. This whole colonizer just trying to colonize our land. And yours trying to sue our own people. Why take money out of the tribe, bro? If you sue her, it's like you suing me too, well. You can't do that, man. You fuck with me, you fuck with the best, homes. I'm not, hey, we can't see B with it. I'm trying to tell you. So we are going to real life resolve this shit in court in the most surgical way ever presented. And your ass is going to be the biggest example of how not to fuck with real Indians, dude. Real Real, I'm a real thing, you know. You can't fuck with Turtle Island, dude. Don't fuck with your own sister. You cannot attack the matriarch, bro. You cannot attack the mother, bro. Because that's what the mother created bent for. Remember, when we first was manifested to this planet, it were 15 foot tall indigo women, dude. Why you think they got the movie Avatar from, bro? They were describing us, bro. The 15 foot tall indigo women, bro, were asexual, meaning they could pro-produce they self for they self. They didn't need men. But when the Anunnaki's, the Nephilims, and all the other motherfuckers came down, the Draconians, the Zetras, the Greys, you know, they had to, like, genetically splice and create men to protect them. So we're going to protect our queens regardless. We're going to protect mother, the land, regardless. So with that said, man, I'm feeling beautiful, man. about to go out and get whatever. No, wait. Ah, that's kind of cloudy. I'll start off there. Well, I'm going to get some oxygen and just chillax and just cool it, you know. Get some fresh air. If it's not too cold, try to root my feet in the ground. And just, yeah, man, you guys just do the due diligence, do the research, break the curse of religion. All right? Break the curse. So with that said, peace, love, and energy, and infinite light to all. I love you all. Can't wait to start going live to see your interactions, man. So drop the comments, man. Share, subscribe, man. Just share, hurry up. We gotta get to the thousand subscribers so I can go live again, so we can get this stuff cracking again. I miss going live with y'all walking around DC. I miss going live with y'all walking around. You know, what was it um, um, Frederick Douglass House? I miss like going live with y'all going out to like Rockville and going to these different places. You know, we'll draw us a bridge to show y'all things. I like, I miss going live. But you guys, you guys are the dopest bodies, the dopest people out there, man. So let's make this happen, man. Let's make this happen. The more people that know the truth, the better. So let this let this video be the first video to mark the road to a million subscribers, you guys. A million subscribers. So that means it should be a million people knowing the truth. Each subscriber means Eat one more person knowing the truth. Let's see if we get a million truthers out here. Not even truthers, just a million people who just get it. Let's get to a million gets it. <laughs> so I love you all. Peace, love, energy, and light.